first thing, get your pallets. We're gonna strip them down and get uh, wood slats similar to these. So I have to remove them, remove the nails, and then we can send them down. We're gonna go the normal, traditional way of using a hammer. You can hold it a bit slanting if you want. Hammer, and you hit. And some of them break. That's why it turns out to be harder than it is, because when you think you're gonna get all that wood, you actually don't. So you're gonna cut the wood from the blocks on each end. Make sure that your nail is not on the table. Hammer the end. Doesn't have to go all the way through, just enough so you can grab it with the other end of the hammer. Apply some pepper, and it comes out. Every raised bed needs a bed. We're gonna put the wood back, leaving as little gaps as possible between them. Nice and straight. You can press the button. That works, okay, up. And the reason for the hole first, guys, is so the screw doesn't split the wood on the way in. This will be the side. We're gonna have a strip of wood coming down here, which will go further on, which we're gonna stick into the block. And the same thing on that side. You mark your 35. So the best way to proceed would be to sand them down, first paint them, and then you assemble. But today we're going to skip the sanding and the painting before. We're going to have one there, and we're going to have one there. So we can drill two holes this time. It's better if you do them at each corner, it's stronger. Stick them together with a piece of wood on the side. You can screw it into the bottom, into the pallet block. Cut the other two sides to length and screw directly into the sides you've just screwed in. So now we're going to varnish the inside quickly just to give it some protection before I put the plastic in. To keep the plastic up, we can just put the wood like this, paint outside, the outside color. 